My name is Kit. I'm a copywriter and a product coordinator for Farm From Flowers. Today I'm going to show you a little denim DIY. We're going to make a book cover and we're doing these DIYs to celebrate our collaboration with Levi's. When Christina, that's our CEO and founder, started Farm From Flowers uh, several years ago, um, she started wrapping the bouquets in burlap. And that's because in the Bay Area, there's lots of coffee roasters and it was a readily available product that we can upcycle as a wrap for a bouquets. But Christina always wanted to wrap bouquets in something besides burlap. And at the top of the list of uh, companies she'd like to collaborate with was uh, Levi's. We're finally able to make that happen today. So upcycling and sustainability is a, an important value of our world flowers. With our burlap, we're giving it a second life from it's first life in coffee, and it's also compostable, so um, we hope it ends up in your compost bin. And with this collaboration with Levi's, uh, we make this nice new piece of denim that we hope you'll upcycle in a variety of ways that we can show you. Um, especially with the amount of time that people have at home these days, quarantine, you know, spending an afternoon crafting by yourself or with your um, kids or your quarantine crew, it's just a nice way to spend a few hours kind of getting out of your head and all the stresses that are going on and uh, do something with your hands and um, that will make something beautiful to have in your house. I'm going to show you how to make a book cover. So kind of kicking it old school here, making a book cover like you did way back when. I quickly dirty and throw away the, the sleeves that come with all my hardcover so it's a nice way to keep something that's a little bit more permanent to protect some of your favorite books. <laughs> if you don't know who Samina is, now you know. And her cookbook is excellent. We all love her so much at Farm Girl. <laughs> um, so you can get this cookbook or a similarly sized book and uh, learn how to DIY a denim cover for it today. This DIY is also useful if you have kids um, for their textbooks. Uh, if they're all known from the classroom, you know the, the sturdy denim cover can help protect them. Uh, while you have them in your home. So you can return them to the classroom in the best of shape. Here we go. All right, so to make our book cover, we're gonna need a few items. First, your favorite book, a textbook that you wanna cover up, your Levi's denim that came with your farm girl bouquet. But then we're gonna need something to measure with. I'm gonna use a T-square today and a cutting mat, um, but you could also use a regular ruler. I'm using, as I mentioned, the cutting mat because I'm using a rotary cutter, and so the cutting mat helps prevent the rotary cutter from cutting you know, your, your surface that you're cutting on. But if you don't have one of these little tools, you can also just use a really sharp pair of scissors. And then we're also going to need um, something to mark the fabric with, uh, some measurement marks. I have some tailor's chalk. Chalk is nice because you can just you know, pat it up, but if you don't have that, or you can use a you know, chalkboard chalk. Um, but you can use a marker too. This is a no sew tutorial, so we're going to need some fabric and adhesive. I'm using this super fabric adhesive that's a, a little bit heavier duty uh, for fabrics like denim. All right, to get started, I want the dark side of my denim to face out, so I'm going to do all my measuring and cutting on the light side. So I'm going to give my book, put my book on the fabric. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm aligning my book so it's parallel with the selvage edge of the denim. That just ensures that when I cut the denim, it's uh, you know, properly lined up, the fabric will lay nicer. So I'm not, a, not an expert textile person or master, seems just by any stretch of the word. So pardon me if I fumbled my way through that explanation. Anyway. Uh, my book is down in the middle of the fabric. I want to make sure that I'm allowing at least two inches of room on the side, at least two inches above and below, and I'm just going to trace an outline of the book. Trace one side, and then this is the little slip here. I'm just going to roll it over. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. a square on our fabric, a rectangle on our fabric that designates where our book is, the, the size of our book, and we want to measure and cut out the rectangle around that, but um, it's two inches bigger. So, I'm 
my T-square happens to be two inches wide, so that is very convenient. So I can just line it up with the edges and make it happen, but if you don't have a T-square like this, just use your, use your ruler. It is a pretty handy tool to have. Um, I bought it because I was making planter beds and they were not square, so I needed some help. Now I've made a second rectangle that's two inches bigger than my book. So we're gonna start by cutting out the larger of the two triangle shapes. So I'm just using my rotary cutter and my T-square again, outside of that shape. But again, if you're at home, you're using scissors. Go for it, just cut carefully. Just go on edge to edge here. We have our cut piece of denim, no sew tutorial. So the way that this cover hangs on to the book is with little squares that we form into kind of tabs that cover each edge of the book. So to make that happen, we're going to trim away some excess fabric just to create two little squares at each corner. I will then one will fold on top of the other and we'll glue that together to create those little tabs. We just need to do a little bit more measuring Measuring a two by two inch square at each corner. You're basically drawing three squares. One at the corner and one off each side of that corner. Kind of like the um, little three piece right angle piece in Tetris. And I'm gonna put an X on the pieces that I wanna keep because when you're cutting away, Sometimes you forget the pieces that you're supposed to keep and the pieces that you're not supposed to keep. <laughs> it wouldn't be a total disaster, but it wouldn't be a great thing to trim away. Yeah. And again, just hexing the pieces that I want to keep. And doing it again. And again. I have my additional cut marks now. So in each corner you can see two X's. Those are what I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna trim away the two inch border. X marks the spot that I want to keep. So everywhere else I'm getting trimmed away. Okay, I'm gonna rotary cutter right to the point. Oh. Not the best at it yet, so. Send us, a, send us a DM. <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Even though it's no so, it's a little bit longer of a tutorial just because of um, the number of cuts on the measuring that you're doing. All right, we have our book cover now. I'll cut out the little tabbies, but it can be attached. We're gonna put our book now on our cutout cover. And we'll line it in the edges. And we're just gonna check our work now. Make sure everything fits and woo! Good work. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna get ready to attach to glue this this book cover together. And I'm just making sure that in the cutting all makes sense. Things match up and the book is properly covered. Great. And I'm just gonna circle this around, but the way that we'll attach this is one tap will fold over one corner and one tap will go there. We'll glue those together. Some of our fabric adhesive so we'll hold on to the corner. Now we're gonna take our fabric adhesive and we're gonna glue the edges of this cover together. So I'm folding one tab over. I'm gonna, you know, use another X marks the spot. Maybe circle it too. This adhesive of leaks, so make sure you're not putting it on top of anything that's super important to you. And then fold the other tab on top of it. Squish.
But I think this is where one of the remnants, the fabric remnants, comes in handy. I like this little part with the selvage. I'm not really measuring this part because it's really just for embellishment. Oh, I think I just want the one piece. I'm just going to put it on like a little. My name is. Glue that on too. Now it's time to embellish this a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to use these sequins. Uh, I'm going to shout out one of my favorite cosmetics brands here, uh, Pat McGrath. Um, her stuff is amazing. She's an amazing makeup artist, um, person, all of the above. And uh, all of her cosmetics come in your little bags with tiny sequins, so I save them for stuff like this. So I'm going to upcycle these sequins from Pat McGrath to the, our book cover of Upcycle Denim here. Okay, so I just glued all the sequins, the four sequins, onto each corner of the little piece I added. So now you can see it kind of looks like a jean pocket. I guess the pair of jeans and um, our, our foot cover is ready to go. Um, I would let the glue dry a little bit before, you know, really using this. So especially just like the weight of the book will get those edges, the little covers. Um, on nice and tight and then that front cover on but you know enjoy in two to six hours. <laughs> <laughs> 